Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back again to another banger of a video today. I've got a treat for you. I'm gonna break down last week's trades that I took, right? So I hope this really helps you. Um, I'm breaking them down so you see the process behind um, taking these trades, why I enter these trades. And I will also show you um, proof of entry before and after screenshots and everything you need to see uh, to show you the simplicity of, of trading and to show you that you don't need to make your trading um, really complicated for you to make money in this uh, in this market. So starting off here with EuroJPY, um, EuroJPY was very, very straightforward. I always start off with obviously the, the higher time frame such as the daily, etc. So we can see here and we can see the market is, uh, um, is really bearish. You can see the market is on the downtrend, very, very clear, very clean. Um, high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and possible lower low. So once once I saw that, I dropped down to smaller time frame, such a the four hour time frame. Now on the four hour time frame, um, if I have a screenshot of before, I will put it on a screen, and this will be the after, of course. Um, so the market was around there i believe somewhere around there and as soon as it gave me this um order block on the daily time frame i mean the four hour sorry i instantly um marked it marked it out so let's just remove that so once i drop down to smaller time frame and i see that the market has broken previous structure such as this swing low and market broke below it so we could say break of structure right here. The market you can see clearly um, broke that with a very, very strong momentum to the downside. Now that was my first clue that the market is now ready to sell. And what I did is I took my triangle here and marked out this supply area. The market has given us this clue behind, right? This order block is valid is because after that order block was completely formed, we saw um, momentum come to the market. We saw um, a break of structure to the downside and that validates this order block. We saw a clear break of structure. So now I waited for the market to come up to that order block again. Now I drop down to smaller time frame, and then just wait for the market to tap into our order block. Take my short position, entry around there, stop loss just above, and TP is open for now. And you see what happens. Market comes up, taps into that order block supply area, and just from there melts down. Very simple, very clear, uh, straightforward. Higher time frame downtrend, smaller time frame supply area, order block, market comes back, market breaks structure first, gives us a clear direction that market is breaking structure. So now it's gonna come up and make that lower high, right? Once it formed that and tapped into our order block, we sell the market and we could see the market completely just melted after that point. Um, so it was very, very clean trade, right? If you targeted this low, TP would have been smashed. If we just go on higher time frame, you can see the market is now all the way down here, right? So this was our first trade from last week that we took. I will also put uh, proof of entry uh, before and after screenshots so you guys can see that I'm not just doing this right now. I actually uh, took this trade with the VIP group. So if you are interested, I will leave a link down below in the description. So check it out. Come join us. We're always eating profit and uh, you, don't, you really don't want to miss out. So this was our first trade that we took on EuroJPY. Our second trade was CAD CHF. Now, personally, I'm not gonna lie and say I took this trade. I did not take this trade. I marked this chart up and had everything set up just like this. And I was, and I, and I was, and I wanted to get in at that mid little wick over there. But honestly, I think I was asleep at that time. Yeah, this was 22, 10. I just wasn't on my charts. I can't remember what I was doing, but um, I honestly did not take this entry nor this trade um, I was just looking at the trades that I have in my watch list and 
I saw that this trade played out very, very well. Similar concept, you see higher time frame um, downtrend, very, very simple, no big deal. Then we drop down to smaller time frame and uh, we look for our supply areas, right? Now, this is a very clean supply area. Why is it a supply area? Because one, it has very, very uh, clear momentum to the downside and uh, lots of volume down here and also broke below all these previous uh, market structure. So that validates that supply area or an order block, if you wanna call it. Then the market comes up, taps into that, um, taps into our supply area, clear, clears all the liquidity up here. And once it does that, the market pushes down, gives us our first clear sign that the market is ready now to sell. So now we wait again, and we, I've really zoomed in a lot on this to find a very, very refined entry, to find the smallest, the smallest um, order block. There's our mini supply area that the market after that started melting, broke previous structures. So that validates that uh, supply area. And I marked it out and I said that the, the market comes up and taps this area again, I'm looking to short the market. And you can see it tapped into it perfectly and the market sold off from there. But I never took this trade. I missed out on it, but it's no big deal. We move on. So that was our CAD CHF trade. Now our third trade was CAD JPY. CAD JPY was beautiful, beautiful also. Played out very, very well. It wasn't the most sniper entry, but it was a very uh, confirmed entry. I was very confident. I had enough clues and, and, and confirmation that the market is now ready to sell. And then I, uh, I entered the market. So again, start on a higher time frame, like always. And we can see the market here is making. Um, now, if you look just here, you see it's an uptrend, right? Yes. But if you look at the overall picture, now look at this now from this angle, it looks like a downtrend. So it's just honestly all preferences and how you look at the market. Personally, when I looked at this, I saw that there was more sellers in this market than buyers, right? Yeah, there may be more buyers here, but there is more sellers in the market overall. So, and then we had a set of equal um, highs here that the market came up, slashed through that. Uh, the market uh, instantly gave me a lot of um, uh, a lot of pressure to the downside and uh, a clear sign of, of selling pressure. Now, once it did that, it obviously left a clue behind of an order block. I marked that order block out. That was a daily. So we dropped down to smaller time frame. Um, we this is our last last push last buys before the market sold off and broke all these previous structures. Um, and I waited for the market to come up there again. Give me a clear sign. Now, when it did come up there again, you see it almost took us out. But I didn't enter. I don't enter just blindly when it gets into my order block. I watch it uh, very closely. Uh, once it did that, and then it came down and broke structure. You see, I have this mini arrow here. Uh, market broke structure to the downside here. I'll consider this uh, break of structure. Market came up again to make that lower high. And then I, after I saw a couple of bearish engulfings, I entered just about there. I'll also put proof of everything on your screens so you guys can see. Um, it, this trade is still running, but I honestly exited out around 141 pips. Um, I was very, very happy with my uh, profit uh, just because we have a mini demand area here. You can see the market is now rejecting it and uh, it might uh, retrace and push up a little bit. So this was our, our third trade, KJPY. Then our, our fourth trade with, I think is our final trade. Uh, this trade was a complete, complete perfect textbook because if you remember my previous video that I made, the last video that I made about combining quarter level theories with smart money concept, look at this perfectly um, fine trade that I, that I took here. You see, I have my quarter level theories, I have my higher time frame demand order block, right? I mean, supply, my bad. So you see how, you see here how we have um, our higher time frame daily um, supply area, right? Our order block, 
Why is this valid? Is because once that formed, the market pushed all the way to the downside, broke structure to the downside, and then came back. It stopped at an, a quarter level theory and pushed all the way up. And look, it left another order block here, but because there's too much pressing pressure to the downside because we are in a bearish downtrend, you see we are in a bearish market. Um, so this is our first sign, bearish market, supply area, order block, landed on a on a um, on a core level theory. So that was very confirmed. Now I did not enter there. I did not see the market. I wasn't on my charts, um, but I've had it all marked up. Now, once that happened, right? <clears throat> once that happened, uh, the market came down and broke structures to the downside, and then it left another um, order block behind. So I marked that up and I said, "If the market, if, if the market comes up again and touches that order block, I will sell the market again." And I almost got stopped out by literally a pip, but I didn't. And I will put screenshots. Um, yeah, two pips, and I'll put screenshot of my entries and everything on your screens and i targeted our next um psychological level 1.35 thousand the market slashed through that with lots of momentum so i'm guessing my the next target for for gu is um uh, one three two five hundred and you can see here we have a demand area and an order block landed right there so we can mark that up and wait for the market to come there and maybe possibly look for for buys. Um, so you see demand area, perfect. So you see how very, very simple trading, no indicators, no fancy lines, no nothing, just pure supply and demand, order blocks, quarter level theories and, and, and just doing my strategy and repeating it over and over again and uh, following a set rules guys if you enjoyed this video and found value in this video please smash that like button comment below what you'd like to see next on this channel and uh, if you're interested and by the way all these trades were sent to the VIP members so if you are interested in joining the VIP and not to miss on these trades you, you guys can join us um, taking these trades with us. I will leave a, a link down below in the description below and uh, you guys can click on that, join the telegram, text me, chat to me, I'll add you and we can uh, make some money together. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, episode four I believe now is for, for the, for the uh, 20 to 1000 dollar challenge. It's coming really really soon. You guys will be surprised on what the, what that uh, challenge is on. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your days and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.